Hi, this is Rick Chappelle. I'd like to share a Civil 3D quick tip. Today I'd like to talk about exporting pipe networks to GIS. Now at the end of the design process, we're gonna have, in our case, we're gonna have a pipe network or a series of pipe networks that eventually need to go back into GIS, whether it's we're a municipality or a facility management group that's managing our assets, or we need to deliver this to such an organization we may want to take the network that we've built, export that out in a format that we can easily bring into GIS so that we can incorporate that into our long-term system. And there's really two steps. The first step is we'll export these out to a spatial data file, an SDF file, which is an Autodesk specific kind of a geo database format. Unfortunately, a lot of other systems don't really read SDF format. So we're going to put it into shape files to make it a little bit more convenient for interchange. Okay, to get started, I'm going to open up Civil 3D and open up my project, and here I have a small project, road design. It's got a small pipe network in here, storm drain. I want to get these copied to GIS for kind of long-term management. So my first step is to take the project, and I'm going to save it out to an SDF. So we go to our output and export Civil Objects to SDF. Now, and it's, it's going to, we're going to give it a file name. I'll go ahead and leave that. It's going to read the coordinate system, continue to keep that, and I'll say OK. And it's done. And it's basically going to make a copy of all the BIM objects that are built into that tool um, and save those to an SDF file. So I can go to my folder and look, there's my SDF file I just created. So to see what that looks like, make sure everything's in the right place, I'm going to connect to it using my map task pane. Turn that on and say OK. And let's make sure that these came in looking right. So I'm going to do a SDF connection, spatial data file. Grab my pipe networks, open and connect. And there's all of the different data sets we've got. So I don't care about anything right now, but my pipes and structures. And so I'm going to add those to my map. And let's zoom to that data layer. There we go. Now, you can kind of see it, but just to make sure, let me go ahead and exaggerate these so we can see them. So I'm going to turn these into kind of a big green, light green circle. And we'll make that about six. There we go, we can see those nice and clear. And let's do the same thing with our pipelines so that we can see those, we'll edit the style. Line style, we're gonna change that to that light green. We're gonna make it a wide line type. There we go, so there's our pipelines. Perfect. These are SDF, we can look at the attributes. These are the data elements that came out of the model. They're now going to be into the GIS. All right, but it's an SDF file, so it's not incredibly useful for me outside of the Autodesk world. So let's go ahead and change this over. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open a new drawing just to have it clear and not have anything um, get in the way. I'm going to turn off the tool space because I don't need it right now. I'm going to go back and reconnect to that SDF file. OK, connect. Again, I only care about my pipes and structures. There we go. I don't need to change where they look. Now, the other thing that's necessary is I have a folder set up for my GIS files to go into. There it is. I've got a two GIS folder. These are the data sets that I want to convert to GIS. So I need to make a connection to that folder, so a shape connection that folder and let's come down here select it okay do the connect there we go now there's no data sets because there's nothing in the folder yet so we've made this and now we're going to come to our data can we're going to do a bulk copy the bulk copy is a tool that allows me to migrate data from one format to another so i'm going to grab my Start with the structures. I'm going to select the structure data set. And it's replicating that over on this side. But I need to tell it where I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it in the shape. 
Now, one of the challenges, the shape file doesn't allow an attribute name more than eight characters. So when I go to try to copy, it's gonna let me know that, and it's gonna flag this. So I'm gonna change this and just make this ID, and we'll say copy. Continue the bulk copy, and there it is. My 12 objects were copied. I close, and I can go ahead, matter of fact, right away, go to my pipes, do the same thing. It's gonna have the same issue, shapefile. It's not gonna let me do those, so I'm gonna do the copy now. It's gonna flag that. I'm gonna change that to ID. Try this one, it's gonna have a couple others it has problems with. So I'm gonna change the diameter to DIA. It'll be clear enough to read. Oh, gotta do the outside diameter. Um, I think the structure starts, my starts are gonna have a problem. So I'm gonna change this to struct start. And I'll have to do the same thing with the structure end. Oh, there it is. And close. Now if I look at my folder, there's my pipes and my structures. Let's go ahead and bring them in and make sure they come in together. Connect to data. Now when I go to my shape file, there they are. I'll go ahead and select them, add to map. And there they are, came in right on top of my SDF file. And there we go. I now have shape files from my pipe network. Thank you.